Ready to walk to Dogtown? You betcha. Morning, everybody. How y'all doing today? Hey, look, it's a beautiful morning out here. You can tell we had a good rain yesterday, last night. Izzy's out here with me. You can kind of see her over here. And, uh, just want to tell you what's going on. You might remember me hearing, you might remember hearing me mention Sulphur City Design is making hats now. Note, hat in question. I just want to take a moment and show these to you. These are awesome. It's a flex fit, which you'll notice no plastic snap. It's all one solid elastic flex fit. It's got a nice thing in there so the front stands up with your logo, whatever you have put on there. And this tag, I didn't take it off yet because I wanted it to be here when I did this. It says bamboo, flex fit, bamboo slash cotton blend cap. These are awesome. Let me read this to you. Bamboo cotton blend cap, enviro friendly, recyclable, not chemically treated, cool and dry moisture wicking, antibacterial deodorization, soft to the touch, lightweight with UV protection. And uh, these are nice, man. These are nice quality hats. It says flex fit right inside there. I think you might be able to see that. Don't mind the small size there. I have a small head. Fifty-nine percent bamboo. I believe is what that says. Three percent spandex, and the rest is cotton. Yeah, these are nice caps, man. So they'll be available over at Sulphur City Designs. And uh, along with all your other tough dog gear, YouTube, you know, heroes, <laughs> swag, or you can custom order your own. I keep telling you guys that. You need to go over there and hook Shane up, man. Tell him what you want. Get your own gear going on. He makes stickers, banners, you know. Well, you know the derail. Hats. Signs. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Uh... Yeah, he's got his hands in a lot of different, a lot of irons in the fire over there. He's a good dude. Go see him. All right. Now that I got that out of the way, let me tell you what else we got going on. I am digging the ramps out of the garage because as you just saw the other day, I got rid of my other riding mower. And I was going to keep that and turn it into an off-road mower. But it had that variable drive transmission in it or, you know, speed selection thing. It's just not ideal for doing that with. Well, I've been watching YouTube videos and one of the guys who lives in the neighboring town, <coughs> excuse me, goes by the YouTube channel of Missouri Old Timer. Has got a bunch of mowers and stuff that he fixes up and does stuff with. And he's got one over there that looks like it might be a premium candidate for an off-road mower, garden tractor type thing. So, I'm gonna go over there and check it out. We talked a little bit online last night, kind of exchanged comments, you know, personal messages back and forth and worked it out. And I'm gonna go over there in about an hour and see him. And if it looks right, I'll probably bring that home. So, yeah, all right. I'm going to dig the ramps out of here, which i got to pull the bikes and the surf scooter out to get to them. But, uh, and then we'll be on our way here in a little bit. So I'll let you know how that works out. I'll probably take you along and maybe introduce you to the old timer. <laughs> He's a way cool dude. If you haven't ever checked him out, go check him out. Missouri old timer. He's got some neat projects. He does all kinds of stuff with mowers. Um, he created his own rust removal electrolysis I think I'm saying that almost right <laughs> Electro, electro electrolysis de-rusting system for getting rust out of things and uh, he's got several videos on that he's got some old he's got an old Harley 
golf cart that he turned into a hydraulically driven one uh, different things but yeah so uh, I'm gonna quit babbling here try to keep this short and uh, stay tuned and uh, by the way go see 231 flash too. subscribe to him and check out his stuff he's got some cool stuff going on and don't let Dizzy tell you that he sent you over there you gotta remember to tell him that I sent you over there <laughs> right okay all right I'll be back guys I'll see you so look how beautiful and green everything is <clears throat> I uh Oh, let me show you this, too. My neighbor, I told you he's moving. He said he's got this trailer for sale. And, uh, yeah, it's a nice big one. I don't know how many square foot it is or anything, but I think he said he wanted $3,000 for it. it. Looks like it needs cleaned up and maybe repainted, but it's aluminum. Yeah, nice big trailer. Anyway. It's beautiful out here, man. That rain we had just turned everything super green. I went out on the front porch last night and it was like all those bushes and shrubs around there just exploded and sprouted up. It was crazy, man. I could smell like the dogwoods and the vines and growth was just jumping up on the porch. Everything just took off. All right. I'm gonna dig them ramps out of there. She broke the needle and she can't so walk the dog. Just so walk the dog. Don't know how to do it. Show you how to walk the dog. That's a mother for 15 cents. Walking the dog, just a walk in the dog. If you don't know how to do it, show you how to walk the dog. Duffy's still in the house sleeping. She's my girl. She comes out with me when he's not ready or even if he is. You guys remember me telling you about those ramps? They're 10 feet long, all aluminum. Maximum weight per 600 pounds each. I found them on eBay year, last year sometime. They were like $300 and they were having a sale and I got them for like half price. It's awesome. I like them because when you put them on the back of your truck, your angle that you have to ride up is not so steep. It makes it a lot safer. I made a video of me taking the Honda three-wheeler up into the back of the truck on two ramps and that was a tricky situation but it worked. I only did it the one time, I just did it because that's what I had out and was running that day. But anyway, yeah, it was nice ramps. I can't even remember who made them now, but I really like them. All right, enough babbling. My buddy Steve's gonna go with me, so I'm just waiting for him to show up and then we're gonna be on our way. All right. Well, there she is, boys. We got her home. Noma, 18 horsepower, twin opposed. No deck, six speed transmission. Sweet little machine. Gonna be dandy. But I tell you what, it's raining out here right now and it's supposed to get worse. So I'm gonna start it up, put it in the backyard and uh, cover it up and address it on my next day off that it's not raining. It's got a little bit of an electrical issue. The key switch doesn't turn it over or kill it. 
that you can bump start it, which is what I'm going to have to do. And then you can either choke it out or there's a the kill wire up front. You can touch that to a ground and it'll die. There's a safety switch or something in there that's not letting it work right. He hasn't had time to sort it out and uh, of course I just got it and haven't sorted it out yet either. But let me show you under the hood real quick. This thing's got no smoke. It sounds really good. It's an 18 horsepower opposed twin, just like it says. Rigs is strutting. Alright, so I'm going to put the camera in the garage here. Get it out of the rain. There's a view of the other side of it. Get my starter out and bump it off. You should be able to see this. Hmm. Well, that's not working. Well, I don't know what that was about. When we were over at his house, he bump started it with a, you know, a jump box. Had a, basically a battery, give it a jump start right to the starter, and it turned right over and fired right up. And just now, you saw what happened. It didn't want to. And I'm sure I'm not doing something right. I probably should have held the brake pedal down or something, but it's raining out here and I, I'm not, I'm just not going to mess with it. I pushed it out there, covered it up, and we'll get back to it on the next day off when it's uh, not raining. So, anyway, here's my new off road mower tractor. My new tractor. All right, my tractor, my new one. <laughs> anyway, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Y'all take care, and uh, go check out Missouri Old Timer on YouTube. He's a neat guy. He's where he just got this, and uh, yeah. <laughs>